Like, prime example, when Cinco de Mayo get closer, right, they never teach you about this, about the treacherous acts that the, our oppressor, the so-called white man, the Spaniards did to us. When it's September, uh, when it's Mexican Independence Day, they never teach you about this. Teach. They teach you that we're all the same and God loves everybody and that the white man is our friend. But no, this is what they did to us. You need to hear this. Read. Start the, from the beginning again. Which the Spaniards no sooner perceived. They said the Spaniards. You are not a Spaniard. You speak Spanish, but you are not a Spaniard. All right? Read. But they mounted on their generous steads. Well weapon with lances and swords. So those Spaniards came to your land. America is your land. That's right. America is not their land. But yet they steady kicking y'all out and deporting y'all. This is your land. Chicago is yours. Read this again. Jose, let me ask you a question. Weren't the so-called Mexicanos in America first before everybody? Weren't the Mexicans and Native Americans here first? You ever heard of the conquistadors? Like Christopher Columbus, Hernan Cortez, Ponce de Leon, you heard of them, right? Read that again. Deuteronomy 28 verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. So it said the Lord will bring a nation against the so-called Hispanics from far, meaning that your own people didn't come up against you. The Spaniard man is not your people. He is the devil. He is Diablo. You are not a Spaniard. You are not a Mexican. You are an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. Read right. from the end of the earth as swift as the eagle flyer. So y'all are already here, and we're going to show y'all that in the Bible too. The so-called Hispanics and Native Americans were already here. The nation that came against y'all, our brothers, because y'all are brothers, is a nation that came from the other end of the earth, which was Europe, from Spain. And his sign was the eagle. What bird is on the Mexican flag? What, what bird is on the flag of Mexico? An eagle, right? That, that was not a sign of the so-called Aztecs. That was not your sign. That sign came from another nation. Read. As swift as the eagle flyer. That's why in America, the bird in America is an eagle. The bird in Germany is an eagle. Right. Read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Because y'all didn't speak Spanish. Y'all spoke Hebrew. Y'all didn't speak Spanish at all. And we can show y'all that in history books. Y'all actually spoke Hebrew, not Spanish. Read. A nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. Read that again. My sister, my sister, my sister, walking. I need you to hear this. I need you to hear this. Because we think that the so-called white man that they're our friends, but they are not our friends. And we look at each other as enemies. The Negro man is not your enemy. He is your brother. He is your family. That's right. Tu familia. The Negro man is your family. We are the same. We are not different. Read that part again, not showing favor to the old. Not showing favor to the old? Hold on. If you go down in Texas, who got the destruction of Indies book? I need that page from out of there, too, because I can show y'all in history. If you go down to Texas today, where they have uh, orange fields, great, uh, great plantations and stuff, they have our older Latino brothers picking grapes and oranges. That is called oppression. That is slavery. They are paying y'all less than minimum wage. They're doing the same thing to us, too. And this land was yours. This was your land. And they pay y'all less than minimum wage to work in construction. Have y'all work 14 hours? Do you know an electrician is supposed to take home over $175 an hour? Over $175 an hour. But do you think they pay our people that? No, they don't. They don't show favor to us. Read the second part. Nor show favor to the young. Nor show favor to the young. Y'all heard, heard about Adam Toledo? He was 13. No matter what he did, I can, we can, 
show you countless news articles. Uh, uh, the other nations, prime example, the so-called white man can have a shootout with the police for hours and the police won't bust one shot. They say, oh, no, stop. They talk them down. That's what they bring in negotiators for. But a 13-year-old so-called Hispanic brother, they shot him down like he is some kind of animal. Read that part again. The show, uh, no favor to the youth. We shall no show favor to the young. They will, how old are you, sister? 19? The, listen, the other nations do not care about that. They kidnap 19-year-old girls and sell them in a prostitution, take their organs. I know you heard about organ harvesting before, right? The other nations will do that to you. And they will take you out like you an animal. And we can show you that in the history books. I need you to read that for me, please. This is, this is a, our history. Black and Hispanic history are the same. Read. A brief account of the destruction of the Indies. Who is it by? By Bartolome da La Casa. Read. Page 10. It says, Which the Spaniards no sooner, no sooner perceived, but they mounted on their generous stands, well weaponed with lances and swords, began to exercise their bloody butchery and stratagems, and overrunning their cities and towns, spared no age. Or sex. All right, read that again, and we're going to go through this. And I'm sorry, sister, what's your name? You said Melissa? Melissa? Ulyssa? Okay, Ulyssa. We're going to go through this history because this is your history. Every time when this, uh, like, prime example, when Cinco de Mayo get closer, right, they never teach you about this, about the treacherous acts that the, our oppressor, the so-called white man, the Spaniards did to us. When it's September... Uh, when it's Mexican Independence Day, they never teach you about this. Teach. They teach you that we're all the same and God loves everybody and that the white man is our friend. But no, this is what they did to us. You need to hear this. Read. Start the, from the beginning again. Which the Spaniards no sooner proceed. They said the Spaniards, you are not a Spaniard. You speak Spanish, but you are not a Spaniard. All right? Read. But they mounted on their generous steads well weapon with lances and swords. So those Spaniards came to your land. America is your land. That's right. America is not their land. But yet they steady kicking y'all out and deporting y'all. This is your land. Chicago is yours. The United States is yours, so-called United States. Read. They came with weapons. Read. Began to exercise their bloody butcheries and straight gyms. They began to exercise their butchery. You heard of a butcher in a grocery store, right? What the butcher do in a grocery store? They do what? They chop up stuff, right? They chop up meat. They were chopping us up like they were the butcher and we were cows. Right. They were chopping our bodies up into pieces. Read. And overrunning their cities and towns spared no age or sex. So they were taking over the cities and towns just like they took over New Mexico used to be a part of Mexico, Texas, California, all of America. They took over America and they didn't spare the young. That's why today you see the Adam Toledo's getting killed. That's why today you can hear of your uncles and aunts working for less than minimum wage. Because the other, the other nations, they don't care about how old your grandmother is. They don't care about how young your brother or cousin is. They're going to do unjust acts towards you continuously Teach. until they out of power, until we back in rulership again. Keep reading. Nay. Not so much as women with child. So even if you are pregnant, that's like today, if I see one of my pregnant sisters walking down, if, if you are pregnant, right, you are carrying child, and I see you walking down the street, right, and traffic was coming by heavy, I'm going to stop traffic for you because you're pregnant. That's the right thing to do. You're supposed to be courteous to pregnant women, but they didn't care. They didn't care if our women was pregnant. What did they do to them? But Ripping up their bellies, tore them alive in pieces. Read that again and come here one sec. Come here one sec, one sec. I want you to look at these pictures down here. 
let me see, let me see. Where's the, do we got the picture of the baby? On? Okay, you see, that's a little baby right there, right? You said who? Your aunt told you about this? A mom. Your mom? Hey, that's good that your mom told you about this and never forget it. Because they don't, uh, they don't forget the atrocities that happen to them. We celebrate September 11th every year, don't we? You got to hear about the Holocaust in school every year. So never forget the atrocities that was done to you. They got a baby upside down. Where do you think they got that baby from? They got that baby out of a woman's stomach, a so-called Hispanic woman's stomach. It Read it again. Nay, not so much as women with child, but ripping up their bellies, tore them alive in pieces. So they tore the babies and the women alive in pieces. They butchered them. Remember, that's like if you go get skirt steak, right? Skirt steak chopped up real thin. They was treating us like that. Read. They lay waggers among themselves. Wagers. They lay wagers among themselves who should with a sword at one blow cut or divide a man in two. So you ever been around like the older men in your family, right? They like to gamble or place bets or have fun and play games, right? They were playing games with your ancestors, with our ancestors saying, uh, I bet you I can, I bet you $20 that I can cut this man in two. Imagine somebody taking your father or your uncle or your mother and saying to somebody else, hey, I bet you I can cut her in two. I bet you I can cut them in two. And they playing games with our family. They, that's how they used to do us. Read. With sword at one blow, cut. Or divide a man in two. Let's get that in the Bible because we read this in a brief uh, Hosea 13 and 16. We read this in a history book, but now we're going to show you, Ulyssa, that the Bible is your history book. The Bible max matches up with historical events. That's right. Y'all sisters listening? The Bible is your history. That's right. Read. Hosea chapter 13 verse 16. Samaria shall become desolate, for she hath rebelled against her God. They shall fall by the sword. Their infants shall be dashed in pieces, and their women with child shall be ripped up. You listen. I'm going to have them read it again. Remember we read that in the history book, right? Let's read that again in Hosea. We read that the babies were taken out the stomach, right? You seen the pictures. We didn't draw these. These pictures was around long before us. Read that again, Hosea. Hosea chapter 13, verse 16. Samaria shall be desolate. So if you're wondering who Samaria is, if you read in Isaiah, you ain't got to go to it. Samaria was the capital city of Ephraim. Like, you know how, like, Washington, D.C. is the capital of America? That was your capital. You're from, Ephraim is the head tribe of the northern kingdom. Your father's Mexican, right? So-called, right? So you would be from the tribe of Issachar. That is your nationality, not Mexican. Mexican is a slur. Calling you Mexican is like calling me a nigga. It's the same thing. God didn't give you that name. You listening, sir? How you doing? How you doing? Listen, listen, it's your history. So remember, we read in a brief account of the Indies that our women was ripped up and the babies was taken out of them by the conquistadors, the evil conquerors. Read that again. Samaria shall become desolate. So Northern Kingdom, the Hispanics and Native Americans shall become destroyed mentally because you physically still here, but you don't know who you are. Read. For she have rebelled against her God. And if you heard what the other brother was stating before, we think we're Mexican because we sinned against God. You believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible? You believe in God? Okay, you cannot find the term Mexican in the Bible. You can't find black in the Bible. You can't find African American in the Bible. So who are we then? Because the Bible only deal with real people. It only has a record with people with real heritages. Read. Samaria shall become desolate, Keep going. for she hath be rebelled against her God. They shall fall by the sword. Their infants shall be dashed in pieces. So remember, they butchered us, right? We're reading from the Bible. Show her the Bible. We're actually reading. No, the Bible, the Bible. Just show her the Bible. We read it from the Bible now. We're not reading from this book no more. 
It's sad that in the Bible that our, that our people, because we didn't serve God, our babies would be dashed into pieces. What else? And their women with child shall be ripped up. Our women with child shall be ripped up. That is our history. That, it, that was a curse that was brought upon us because we didn't keep the commandments. Yes, Let me show you another curse. Because your name is Ulisa, right? You're, you have a quote-unquote Spanish last name. So, like Rodriguez, Hernandez, what's your last name? Your dad was half black? Okay, was his father black? Okay, so yeah, actually... <laughs> All right, so you're not from the tribe of Issachar. Let's get that numbers 1 and 18. So that's all praise to good. Good to know that. You're still one of the children of Israel. Brother and sister, the blacks, is, the blacks Hispanics, and Native Americans, we the same people. We are, we are the children of God. Y'all right. may not think that, but y'all people getting shot down in the street just like ours from our oppressors. That's right. So you're actually from the tribe of Judah, the same tribe as Christ, That's which right. is still a great thing. That's Read right. that Numbers real quick. Just Numbers to show chapter 1, verse 18. Right. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their father. So that is the reason why normally a child will have their father's last name. So what's your last name? You said what? Rich? Like rich. Okay, so that, if you go in the Bible, you will not find anybody with the last name Rich. That is not a God given name. That is a curse. Give me Isaiah 65 and 15 to show you that that was a curse not only on the blacks, because even though you're a lighter complexion, you're still considered a so called black woman according to your father's nationality. But we still the same as our Hispanic brothers. Read. Right. Isaiah 65 verse 15. And I got to yeah. keep reiterating that we are the same because our people don't think that. Our people do not think that. Our Latino brothers and African American brothers do not think we are the same. And that's because we worship in our oppressors. Read. Isaiah 65 verse 15. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. For the Lord shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. Read that again. First, hold that, get who the servants is real quick. Because not everybody is a servant of God. They may say, oh, they love God. The other nation, you may hear Chinese man, Arab man, may say they're a servant of God, but only the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true servants of God. Yes, the God. Los Israelitas. Even when we not serving the right God, our intentions is still to serve God. Read. The book of Leviticus chapter 25 verse 55. Read it out. For unto me the children of Israel are servants. Read that again. For unto me. So God said unto him, not the other nations, so why are we servants to the white man? Why are we servants? It's crazy you going to any uh, Chinese food place. Who they got back there cooking? Don't they got our so-called Hispanic brothers back there cooking? A lot, a lot of our people don't know that. They got our so-called Hispanic brothers and sisters cooking in a Chinese food place for less than minimum wage. Our people do not know that at all. We're not, this, we're not supposed to be the servants of the other nations. We're the servants of God. Read. For unto me, the children of Israel are servants. The children of Israel, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the servants of God. Read. They are my servants whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt. And God brought us out of the land of Egypt. He did not bring the white man out of Egypt. Senor, the Lord brought you out of Egypt. The Lord is going to bring you out of America. Because we know y'all being oppressed too. You being oppressed just like us. Right. Y'all going through hardship just like us. Let's go back to Isaiah. Come forth, Senor. Come forth. Y'all are brothers. Come forth. This y'all history. La historia and la biblia. La historia. Come listen. Come listen. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 65, verse 15. Come on. And ye shall leave your name for a curse 
unto my chosen. So you shall leave your name for a curse. The Lord didn't name you rich. He named you Judah. The Lord didn't name you Hodri uh, Rodriguez, Hernandez, uh, Suarez. He named Garcia. He named you Issachar. That's that is a God-given right. name. You know? right. Read. For the Lord shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. So the Lord is the one that sent our enemies against us to slay us. These other nations ain't stronger than us. They're not smarter than us. They're not more crafty than us. The Lord sent them against us because we broke his commandments. Are these your sons? This your dad? So when y'all were younger, if y'all broke y'all dad's rules, what would happen? They'd get in trouble, right? They'd be in trouble. Come here. I want y'all to see something. Take pictures of this. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Don't be scared. We family. We family. Look at these. So God is our father. You know God is our father, right? This is what happened to us by not listening to God. We used to get hung up by the 13. Sister, sister, come listen. We're not done yet. This is your history. This is history class. This is what God did to us for not listening to him. Just like how they would get in trouble if they didn't listen to you, this is what God did to us. This is a whooping right here. Slavery, colonialism. Y'all, you know how black people used to get hung on trees? You know, that used to happen to Hispanics in California. The white man used to hang y'all. The white man used to hang y'all in New York as well. They still do it. They just don't show it on the news like that. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth